everyone. Just leaving the castle. It is a Tuesday morning of the Snap-on variety, I think, and I use that term loosely. Uh, Jody had some issues with his truck and they were waiting on parts yesterday. So we didn't get out yesterday to see his Monday customers. Obviously we're Tuesday. So I'm hoping we've got a snap on Tuesday. Time will tell, but he may put up on his page that he's still waiting on the bits and the van is not fixed yet. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's a very, excuse me, very foggy day. Out the window of the house this morning. Could see our garden. Could see the roof of the neighbor's house and nothing else after. It's like a proper whiteout. It's clearly damp enough to be uh, moist and then warm enough to evaporate it. Uh, this, uh, this morning, this afternoon, that's steady on Alex, you haven't even started yet. This morning we've got a Mini in. Uh, it has a Harman Kardon system. Funny angle there, what's going on with the camera? Just a second. There we go. Um, yeah, it's got Harman Kardon system and the amplifier has failed. Um, so, from BMW, the amplifier is mega bucks, second hand. Obviously, they're going to be in the same shitty situation. Don't know if it works, don't know if it's good. So, what we are doing today is technically a four channel system off of a kicker key 200.4. We are adding crossovers because the way that the Harman Kardon system works is there is no filter for the sound. The amplifier does it all. So the tweeter channel is the tweeter channel, mid is mid, so on and so forth. So you can't just slap full range through it because everything will try and play everything. Tweeters will not like bass. GPS connected. Thanks love. Uh, so we need to cross over the signal so that the tweeters are getting a high, si high frequency and obviously mid and so on. That's the first thing. Then this afternoon we've got one of Dan's mates, um, or one of Dan's friends from the pub quiz I think. I'm not sure, but anyway, one of Dan's friends, kid he knows, <coughs> he's got a higher car, or a uh, uh, higher purchase. Uh, forgot to roll the windows up when we had the biblical rain. And the car got quite wet inside apparently um, so we have to basically investigate how much of the car under the carpets is soaked and if we can dry it out at all it's the wrong time of year to be drying out cars england is now moist as you can see by the camera it's very very white and foggy out like summer has been and gone so that's going to be an interesting one so off to work grab the coffee start the day that's about it really. Right, so uh, we've been through with our speaker tester and been and checked inputs and outputs on the factory amp. We've been through on our speaker tester and been and tested. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm having a strong. <laughs> you were speaking best English today! Um, so inputs and outputs are all labelled on what's going where. Alex is doing the wiring for the 200.4. Torch is dead. We're not having Jody today. Oh yeah, Jody's not coming around today because he can't be bothered, you know. Cheers, Jody. Yeah, great one. Not that we know that you've just got that new nibbler as well. 
Hey, unless he does something about these 144 batteries, we don't want them anyway. Well, there is at that. the minute, I've got three down. Not in a good down either. Damn. Not like even system of a down. Wake up! Wake up! Oh. Just down. Just down. So, I'm going to do all the wiring for this. Microphone's on the, on the driver's seat. Should be fairly easy. And then it's just a case of put it all back together. And mount the amp, that is. Okay, that's cross servers. Key 200.4. In. Ra. Stuff it is. Alex is busy working away over here, soldering up. <clears throat> Nearly done. Nearly done soldering in the connections and crossovers for the 200.4. We've been checking polarity of speakers without actually having to take the door cards off with a fantastic little bit of equipment called this. Um, I don't know that Alex will be able to demonstrate for you. No. No? Just you pop a speaker and it gives you a yes you're in spec or no you're not in spec by a green light and a red light and then from there you can just adjust your wiring there you go so Alex is getting on with that one I have got a green thing a green cougar uh, I'm pretty sure it's cougar not a, is it a cougar puma puma there you go puma st so this one's in for thinkware f200 pro so we've got I've just cracked on and gotten on with it uh, we've got rear camera up behind this hang on let me get this out the way again. There you go. So rear camera's there. I just need to work out if I'm going to stick it in the swept area or just behind and then re-stick it back on once all the final bits are in. Front camera's already in. So a GPS bucket at the top. All I am going to do is I'm going to make that cable a little less obvious and I'm going to stick it to the windscreen with some of the little clips it comes with in the kit. Power cable needs to go down there. Camera cable for the rear comes across the top of the headliner. And that is this one. So I'm going to get back on with this one in a moment. Alex is no longer a furry black kiwi. I, mm, actually, I can't. <laughs> mm, cut. Just running the setup on the mini. I'm just talking quietly. Microphone's on the headrest. Pink noise playing through the car. Key's gonna go in that corner over now. You should get a happy tone in a minute. You can finish it off. Dan's nearly done with the uh, 
forward. And hopefully I'll be done with this soon. I'm on card and failed. Yeah, we got you. No problem. And then on with some box building. Mm -hmm. Why not? Right then. Uh, the Mini is coming along well. The Puma is done. Uh, Mini is looking pretty swanky, if I do say so myself. So crossovers and 200.4 at the top with a little wooden board to hold everything in place. All the wiring all tucked, tidied and looking pretty with conduit, carpet tape. Just looking just a little bit nice. Look at that. More importantly, sounds pretty good too, eh? So that's the Mini coming along. Pretty much done, nearly ready to go. Um, get the customer for the Ford Puma, get them back, get that gone, get that back together. <laughs> I'll pickle Rick on the loose. Right then, my loves, we're done for today. Uh, oh, no we're not. You need to move the Audi out, Dan. Okay. I'm still outside Mad Dog's place. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll move it, I'll move it. I'm Murkish. Murkish is fine around the back. Oh. Um, we're gonna take Chaser home tonight. Need some tunes, as it is a nice day. But that is it, we are finished. Uh, Dan's got his MOT tomorrow for his motorcycle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we've got to do that. Yeah, I'll go and do that then. Pull that next to mine. But everything is in. We've got a busy day tomorrow. Mini looked absolutely fantastic today. The people were super happy. Me too. Um, Wednesday tomorrow we've got front and rear dash cameras. Ah, we've got the BM in tomorrow, so we've got a single DIN on a one series. I've got a pocket for it as well. We've got a 7200 Pioneer going on it. Um, Face kit, parking sensor retention. We've got to undo what BMW did with the sat nav bodge. And then Thursday we've got Zota in. Gosh, busy, busy all week. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Hope you're enjoying the content. We're trying to do as much as we can. Still no word from Merkish yet. Still out back. This is a bit frustrating, but what are you going to do? Um, I did manage to get some new posters up as well, actually. I don't know whether you've seen. We've got two new ones, the Chaser and the RX-7. Yes. <laughs> right, but that's it. We're done for today. Um, time to pack up, go home. See you soon, everyone. Bye.